Alrighty, folks. Today, we're looking at a top three cheap beast in the defensive positions. This is going to be a first part of a little mini series of cheap beast at every position. But today, we're looking at center backs, full backs, and the keeper. And we're looking at top three cards under 100k. These are either cards that I've used and like or cards that I've hated playing against. I feel like cheap beast videos used to be all over YouTube back in the good FIFA days. And now it seems like all the videos are pretty much made by people whose job is to advertise for coin selling websites. And I think that's pretty wild. So we're just going to give some of our opinions. Hopefully we can get some of y'all's opinions too because some of these are pretty subjective. I know everybody's used different cards and had different success with them. So we're going to jump right into it, starting with keepers and then go center backs and full backs. Before we do the top three, we're talking about two honorable mentions here real quick. First is base Tristegen. This card's coming in around 31k. Very nice. It comes with the play styles, footwork, cross claimer, and rush out. Good overall keeper, six foot two. Gets a lot done for you. Great price, unique body type. Everything you want. I really I don't have this one because I have this informed Tristegen which has been just lights out for me. You see, I'm nearing 200 games with him. Incredible, but he's a little bit over 100K. So I would say based or staking, great value at about 31K. Other honorable mention, Ice Hirodeki. This card's incredible. I also have it untradeable, 35 matches on it. Really been impressive. Six foot four, fills out the goal well, and also comes with the footwork and cross claimer trait, which I think you're going to find is a common theme among these. This card supposedly going for under 40k we'll do a quick price check and make sure that that's true yeah so you can maybe get it for under 40k great value at that price the fire herdeki is probably also quite good but the ice one has just been lights out for me so either one they're both going to be under the price and definitely cheap beast for three cheap beast spot at the keeper position is one nick pope this card unsurprisingly is elite his base card always seems to be good at the beginning of every fifa six foot six he's huge has the play styles gives you what you want you guys know nick pope has been consistent every fifa this one i have untradeable but i did use his tradable one even before i packed this one get him for under 30k can't beat that price number two cheap beast keepers now this one's a little bit more expensive for sure but he's going to put in the work for you and he's still under 100k it is honorable mentions ederson i don't think i have too many games on this one i have four matches on this one rocking him with cat he's six foot two got the great all-around traits comes with the long ball pass so pretty cool little extra there doesn't have the footwork so he can't put him up too high i've never personally been that big a fan of ederson but i know at the under 100k spot this card's great and i don't really like playing against him he'll make some weird saves and his distribution is crazy probably one of the best if not the best distribution keepers in the game if you like that play style we'll do the quick price check i'm certain he's under 100k should be closer to 90 or under so yeah pretty good value there for what you're getting to i mean after basic kim a lot of these are going to be great the handling's still not going to be great so you might want to run a glove on him it's just up to you but coming in at my number one spot cheap beast under 100k keepers we're looking at donnarumma now this donnarumma unfortunately is now over 100k this one i purchased for 85k so really it would be ideal if you could get this one but at the under 100k spot you will have to get instead the inform he has two informs and i've used this inform i used it before i bought this car but he just got this inform should be quite cheap it's currently in packs so yeah you'll have plenty of options at him at under 100k but good card still he's donnarumma he's got the unique donny body type he's tall gives you the links if you're running you know Mbappe or something like that comes with footwork which is great for someone this tall same as Pope cross claimer and rush out he's pretty quick too. the pace the speed stat right there 
is kind of underwhelming, but he is quick for a keeper relatively. So got to give him the number one slot at keepers under 100K. Looking at honorable mentions real quick for the center back position. First, we've got this Fire Wendy Renard card. This card has been out for a little bit. Great card, 6-2. High high is a little odd, but gives you a lot of what you're looking for. Insane defending stats. Her base card was good, but this card's got more pace. Just an overall great card. Comes with Bruiser Plus, so you like to see that. Aerial and Power Header. Anticipate all the, all the decent play styles. Going for around 67k, we'll do a quick price check on it to make sure. And there's not that many on the market, I just checked. There's only like, see a couple pages on the market. Oh wow, actually, a bunch more just got listed, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, it should be going for well under 70k. Other honorable mention, this Pepe card. What a card, what a veteran. This guy just started in a knockout Champions League game as the oldest player ever to do so great career six foot two brings what you want at the center back position which is incredible physicality composure reactions even pace which is wild for his age throw a shadow on this card and you've got some really crazy defending stats too doesn't have a play style plus but the play styles he brings are really effective not looking for much more out of a center back card maybe intercept or block would be cool but just a sick card i'm sure eventually fit in the evo that makes him even better but those are our honorable mentions. Looking at our top three center back spots for cheap beast under 100K, I think this number three is gonna be a surprise to a lot of people. It's actually Inform Delict. Now, I don't have this card. To be honest with you, I've never used this card, but I, for some reason, keep coming up against it in Rivals, and it keeps giving me a hard time. I've definitely gotta give it a try because something's going on with this card. 88 Inform Delict, six foot two, medium high looks like some pretty standard stuff here kind of middle of the road pace defending physicality doesn't look like anything special 94 strength is pretty wild though good reactions and composure too doesn't look like anything too crazy kind of standard play styles for some reason has power shot which is wild slide tackle i don't know what's going on with this card but offers you some cool links as a Byron player that's from the Netherlands, but definitely a cheap beast card. We're going to, I think if I search this, it'll do, yeah. We're gonna check real quick, oh yeah. What a value at that price. I mean, that's gotta be near discard in form price, so. Great value as a cheap beast there. I gotta give him a try. If you've used this card, let me know because he keeps working me in rivals. Second position, second place spot, is none other than, oh, get the licked off there. Is none other than Koulibaly. Now this card, obviously, Napoli legend, playing in the Saudi league now. He got the upgrade. I don't think, I don't know if people didn't realize it when he got the upgrade, but he got the upgrade, got the power header plus, and now has some insane stats. I mean, look at this. Great sprint speed, 90 on card physicality and defending. Just a crazy cracked card, not the easiest to link, of course, but comes with some great stats. Got the play styles. I mean, does great for me. I've, I've bought and sold this card multiple times, especially when before he got the upgrade, but just an incredible center back, has to be our number two spot. Coming in at somewhere below 70K, should be mid 60s. We'll take a look here. There's a bit on one at mid 60s so yeah great value definitely a cheap beast if you can link him now number one spot i think this is probably a surprise to no one but it is gold virgil van dyke i mean realistically any center back list in this game is just who do you play with van dyke because he is clear in a way the best center back in the game even like competing with maldini and some of the million plus coin center backs the gold van dyke holds up you see, I only have 54 games on this card untradeable because he just feels so gross to play with because he's so good. It makes all other center backs look terrible. Really impressive card. If you know, you know. Aerial plus. I mean, such a presence. This gold card was going for so much for so long. All year is well over 150, 200K. Now you see he's going for under 50. So what a must-have if you're trying to win games. He's simply the best center back in the game. 
So that's our top three cheap beast. Here with the fullback honorable mentions. First, we've got this Lizarazu card, I believe is how you pronounce it. I don't know, don't quote me on that one. But this hero card is the base hero, 88 rated, incredible value, high, high work rates. Just a really, if, especially if you need the Bundesliga links, great links with those and the French links. Good all around stats, especially for someone with the high, high work rates. This guy can go forward and stay back. Brings a lot of play styles. Slide plus. I've never actually used this card. I've used the 90 card briefly. See if we can find him real quick. He's technically a left wing back if you're trying to search for him. I've used this card briefly. It's obviously ridiculous. It's quite expensive now though, so not a cheap beast. But the 88 is a great cheap beast. Comes in at an under 30k price tag, just like every base hero basically at this point. Other honorable mention is this Ice Gunter card. This card is crazy. You see, I only have nine games on this one, but I think most of those are probably sub-ons too because it just brings a lot to the table. Six foot tall, a high, high, four star, four star. I mean, that's like a center mid type stats right there. It's pretty crazy. And then he's got the pace to back it, which is cool. Great card again for under 30K. I mean, a lot of greens, 94 shot powers, <laughs> pretty wild too. Not the most play styles, but he's got the ones you want. I mean, rapid quick step with relentless and then whip pass plus for when you need to send in those last second crosses. Great card, again, under 30K. Hard to beat, really hard to beat, but those are our honorable mentions. All right, looking at our top three fullbacks, we're gonna start off spot number three with an honorable mentions card that in this case is actually not an honorable mention, but it is Trent Alexander-Arnold. This card's just a great card, held his value well. It's kind of skirting at that 90K plus range, so just barely under 100K. But this card just brings so much to the table, we gotta have it on the list. 5'11", high, high work rates with four star, four star is great, especially because he has the CDM and center mid position already on the card. So you can play him around all over the place if you need to. I mean, and with those passing stats, just you may just well want to have him at center mid because he's got the play styles too. Whipped pass, got some defensive ones too if you're playing him stay back with an anchor or something. Just a great card. Coming in, like I said, 90-ish K. And we're gonna see if we can check the market for him real quick, see how many are on there. But yeah, coming, oh, wow. One page, what's going on with that? Yeah, still under 100K for sure. Great card, can play him at center mid if you need. Now in the left back spot, we're actually gonna have spot number two which is actually a center mid. And you can probably see where this is going. But it is Winter Wild Cards Grimaldo. Now this card has to be on this cheap beast list because he has the left back position. His card traditionally is a left back or a left wing back. But going through it real quick, small at 5'7", but high, high work rates, four star skills, three star weak foot. Obviously can play center mid, but has all the left side positions. And just great stats all around. Kind of deceptive too, as how good this card plays in game. Elite shooting on this card, which is wild. The visit, I mean stamina to play at the left back position. Doesn't have all the best play styles, but I promise you this card plays better in game. And it would absolutely surprise you. If we look at the card that I've been using for Grimaldo, um, I think he's a left wing back card or he may technically be converted to a left back card oh beep is gonna freeze on me okay we're back we fully had to close app after that freeze but this is the Grimaldo I've been using it's an Evo Grimaldo off of his inform obviously you can't get this card anymore but great fullback and his winter wild card center mid card will do great at spot number two on our list right there at under 100k but rounding out the list at spot number one i think this is a fullback not many people will be surprised to see but it is a yao cancelo card his trailblazer 88 now this card has technical plus which is cool sets it apart has a bunch of good play styles for going forward maybe not as many defending ones as you'd like 
but good play styles overall. Green stats across the board, has the stamina to get forward and back. Great passing on this card, even though it doesn't have the passing play styles, and the acceleration makes him feel great on the ball. Playing either fullback gives him great versatility, and just you really can't go wrong with this card. Four star, four star. High low is a little weird, but he's a fullback, so if you have him set on stay back, most of the time he's going to stay back. We're going to search the market here and try to find how many of them are on here. You know, he has so many cards now. But if we look at this Trailblazer, oh, not that many on the market. You should be able to get him for under 100k, but now, as of right now, there's only a couple. Yeah, see, yeah, they're getting listed up for mid 90s. So, good card. Hard to pass him up at either fullback spot for under 100k. And that's our cheap beast fullbacks list. Alrighty, folks, and that is our top three fullback center backs and keepers under 100k i'm a big fan of all these cards some of them i need to try out some more to see how good they really are and some of them are already cemented as club legends i know you guys probably have different opinions on who should be at all these spots so let me know what you think let me know if you've used some of these cards and if you think they uh, deserve these top three spots there's so many good cards this year under 100k at every position that the choices are massive you can get some really elite cards, like these 90 rateds, at this point in the year for even under 70k. So, let me know what you think. Let me know who should have been on this list. I'm trying to get a feel for how the community thinks about center backs and defenders. Thanks for watching, guys.